hi everybody welcome to our new video uh you know there's a uh, something we're going to want to show you why you see that problem so the problem comes when uh we want to switch on the computer whenever they switch on the computer you see that message so that message we want to show you why you get that message and uh how you can fix that so uh let's wait the computer is coming on we just turned on the computer we're using a very old machine and uh, we're using old uh windows 7 so we want to see how we fix that so this is the view guys uh, uh we're gonna see what we're doing here uh we're using windows 7 so let's see how we're gonna try to fix this or we want to show you the reason why you have this Uh, the computer is coming on coming on guys let's view some stuff around okay uh, you see wait 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 you can see it says activate uh, ask me later so click on ask me later uh, okay you can see all this message come because your windows is not activate activated click ok okay when you click ok you can find that uh, there's another message you're gonna find which gonna come all those messages are caused because of one reason just one reason so once you fix that then you're gonna be okay uh, Computer is coming on, still turning on. It's a very slow computer. Don't press any button, please. Does it just pop out? We wait for the network, everything to be fine, stable. Okay, everything is sorted here. But there's a message which pops up sometimes when you try to do some things. Let me go to let me try to click. Yeah, we're trying to see. So it comes out when you click on something or just come out. Yeah, when you click on Chrome. Sometimes when you click on Chrome, it comes, the, the message pop up, pop up and sometimes it doesn't pop up. So, but also we've seen already what's the reason why this is happening. So the reason why is it this is happening is uh, I'll show you the the message. I'm gonna put it in the description, but uh, and also I'm gonna show you the reason why that message come though we did not see it now. So the reason why that message come go to your computer and say properties. When you go to properties, you can see that. Uh, uh, you can see that this you you must activate today so this is the reason why your computer is giving you this so it gives you this because uh, these windows are not activated so it will tell you that change your product key so if you have a patch or a product key you have to activate your window so that you don't see all those messages so I'm gonna put in a USB here to try see if I can activate and uh, we don't have that message anymore okay it says fix I'm gonna fix that I don't want to comment okay I'm gonna open the files and uh, you 
can see everything here is uh, run as an administrator say yes like this also the patch I have is uh, is what is 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 affected by the virus so the real thing you have to do is uh, to I want to try to see if I can get anything here the downloads or somewhere on the disk it's a pity I, I don't have any patch here but what you're going to do is to let me see if I can access that stick somehow. Uh, auto play format reject. bypass this but I simply means like this okay wizard 2014 accept it needs dot net framework it needs dot net framework which I don't have so if I had it, it was gonna work 100%. So anyway, if you, what you have to do, uh, make sure you get your your windows activated so you can go to your CD if you bought windows and get the activation key, then you say change product key. So you put in here your product key of your windows then once you put that you say next after doing next then you switch off your computer then you switch on back <clears throat> after doing that uh switching on on back then you're gonna be out of that error that error would never come anymore so there is also another way you must activate today but uh, i'm not connected to the internet activate windows online buy new product key retry retype your products your product key see other ways let me see okay it gives me this back where we were you can also see other ways also yeah you got to get a product key for this or you can install a new operating system uh, but the best way maybe if you don't have windows you can the best you don't have money to buy this the best alternative is to install Ubuntu. So you can download Ubuntu for free and Ubuntu is equivalent to Windows, even it's better than Windows. So in most cases, uh, most people are now using Ubuntu. Those who don't have money to buy those uh, product keys. Their product keys are a little bit expensive, really. 
so some people can't manage to buy them so what they do they download ubuntu for free then you install so once you install ubuntu you're gonna do whatever you do on windows even more than that then you can be able to come out of this microsoft what chain whereby you can't do anything without having that thanks guys for watching see you in the next video